So here I am in Studio City, California, and I'm shooting headshots and portraits for this new subject. Her name is Brooklyn, and I want to give a shout out to her mom for doing the behind the scenes, aka BTS, for this shoot today. We decided to pick a shaded spot, which was under this really large tree. We'll be using the sun as a kicker or hair light. I use that in conjunction with this Westcott 36 inch Octabox. This flash will light up her body and face and I'll use the sun behind her uh, to act as like a three-dimensional photo um, getting light from the front and the back. I've been really happy using this softbox along with the Evolve 200 Monolight. It's provided enough light outdoors and indoors. Um, I don't even have to have it at full power and the recycling time is really quick. This blue wagon I got can hold 150 pounds of gear. Uh, I just picked it up at Walmart for about 60 bucks and it's been incredibly useful. You can also fold it up and it can just go in your trunk, back seat, whatever. Uh, those wide wheels are great because you can use it in the sand and it won't uh, get buried in the sand. So the wider the wheel, uh, the better it is. It's just kind of hovering over the sand. Um, we chose this next spot in an alleyway and we wanted to give her more of like an industrial uh, theatrical feel versus the first look that was uh, more commercial. And um, I feel like these shots turned out really great. I was really happy with them and so were they. I find that I have to use a sandbag on this light stand because if I'm not, then uh, from my previous experience, the wind will blow over the softbox and light stand. So this is just a sandbag I picked up at a um, local camera store like Sammy's in California. Um, just weighs about 10 pounds and I find that that's sufficient for holding it to the ground. This last look that we chose was in a uh, residential neighborhood in Studio City, California. And uh, I really liked the use of colors in this area uh, with what she was wearing and the greenery. And there were just all these really nice little purple flowers on the ground. I thought it would be really cool to see her holding a bunch of these little flower petals and then catch them in in motion, freezing them with the, the flash and the camera, um, blowing them into the air. Alright, so on this first one I'm going to take a few photos and just hold it right up to your mouth like that, right? And you kind of like, ooh, like right into it. So what you're going to do is, you're going to take it, don't do that, that's what everyone always wants to do. You're just going to hold it like this, and you're just going to go like this, you're just going to go like this. Just, just a quick flick of the wrist. One, two, three. And I think we did a pretty good job catching them in motion.